we're going to create another image same dimensions 8 inches by 10 inches at 300 pixels per inch now this one we're going to call squeegee pull All right, now the idea behind this one is uh, kind of a variation on the thing that we just did. Uh, the only difference is this one we're actually going to apply to the color areas. The one that we just completed, we're going to apply to only the um, black ink areas, which was the half tone uh, from the Warhol Simple tutorial if you've uh, done that. If you haven't done that tutorial, uh, it might be worth taking a look just to see uh, what we created there and maybe uh, kind of start to get you thinking about how these imperfections are going to be applied to both the black ink section of that tutorial and the color overlays. Okay, so squeegee pull. We are going to start again the same with render clouds. And again, shift command F and we're going to back them off by 50%. We're going to render, we're going to do fibers now, right on top of that. Click OK there, same settings, 16 and 4. And Command Shift F, we're going to back this one off to by, what are we going to back this one off to? 50% on this one. So it's going to be a lot more prominent in this one. OK, now. Um, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to actually emboss this and um, do that by filter and emboss is under stylize so stylize emboss okay so it's going to create um, a kind of um, well what you would call in in, in uh, visual effects lingo that's going to be like a bump map but what it basically does is it, it gives the illusion of um, a surface texture so our settings for that we're going to want the angle is 137 degrees the height we're going to go with three pixels in the amount we're going to want to be 49 percent there we go click OK to that Okay, now the next thing that we that we want to do is that's looking pretty nice, but maybe we could make it we could humanize it even maybe just a little bit more. It's it looks pretty good, pretty natural, but we want to maybe um, mess it up just a hair more. So we're going to do that. We're going to through the distort glass feature filter. The computer's a little sluggish. If you, if yours is newer, hopefully a little speedier. Um, okay, so then what we want to do here is uh, over here, glass distortion. We want to be what do we have? Uh, five distortions should be set at five. Smoothness should be set at fifteen, and the texture should be blocks right here. And scaling should be set to 130%. Okay, looks good. And uh, you can still see patterns here, which is not uh, is not totally perfect, but it does help break up that um, that straight narrow pattern a little bit. Gives the illusion of maybe the it's been hand worked just a hair more. Okay, and that's it for that one. So let's go ahead and save that. We'll save that in our same textures folder. Okay. All right.